Hello everyone, this is Dr. Namita Rao, consultant physician and diabetologist working at Nano Hospital, Bangalore. Today we are going to speak about dengue fever. Since this is the season, we are getting a lot of patients who are being infected with dengue. So, dengue is a self limiting viral infection that is caused by and spread by mosquitoes, which is the Aedes aegypti mosquito. This mosquito mostly breeds in fresh water, stagnant water, and bites during the daytime and also during the early morning hours, which is the dawn time. Since it is spread by stagnant water, we can take measures to prevent the spread of the viral infection by avoiding connection of these fresh waters in and around the house. Once a person is bit by this mosquito, it takes about 4-7 to seven days for the person to start developing the symptoms. So, what are the symptoms of the dengue infection? Symptoms depends on the phase. So, initially there is a febrile phase, which is the fever phase when the patient complains of very high grade fever. So, usually in this phase, the fever spikes are high grade, which is more than 101 degree Fahrenheit. The fever keeps reappearing every 6 to 8 hours and is associated with pain around the eyes. There can be severe headache and also there can be severe body pains, there can be severe backache. This is the reason dengue fever is also called as a breakbone fever because the symptoms of the body pain or the backache are quite severe. Along with the uh, fever and body pains, patient can also have severe tiredness. Patient can complain of vomiting, vomiting sensation. So this febrile phase usually lasts for one to three days. However, fever can last for up to five to seven days in case of a dengue infection. Once the febrile phase ends, next would be the critical phase wherein the fever starts subsiding but the patient's platelet count starts dropping from the 3rd to 4th day onwards and can last up to 7 to 8th day. So in addition to the platelet drop, this phase is important because some mostly most of the dengue infections are self-limiting, 90% will resolve spontaneously. However, few can develop complications which is the dengue hemorrhage fever and dengue shock syndrome wherein there is a drop in the blood pressure which can happen during the critical phase. So, a uh, patient must be aware of the warning signs which will be suggestive of going into a critical phase or the severe forms of the dengue. The warning signs are mostly severe abdomen pain, patient can have recurrent episodes of vomiting, poor oral intake, patient might be feeling extremely tired restless and we have a drop in the blood pressure. If any patient is having any of the warning signs, should immediately rush to the hospital and get hospitalized. So uh, sometimes patient may also have rashes during this phase as the platelet count drops. If the platelet count drops further, patient may also have bleeding tendencies which could be in the form of skin rashes. It could be bleeding from the mucosa, which is an oral cavity that can be bleeding through the vomiting or even in the stools. Third phase is the recovery phase. Okay, so this starts after the seventh day when the symptom starts resolving, platelet count starts improving. Sometimes during the recovery phase, patient may experience severe itching, mostly affecting the palms and sores, and there can be rashes again appearing during the recovery phase. So, um, how do we test for dengue infection? Any patient who's having uh, symptoms, whichever I have mentioned earlier, must get tested for dengue which can be done by a simple blood test which includes the detection of the antigen which is the dengue NS1 that is a non-structural protein antigen and the detection of the antibodies which are the IgM and the IgG antibodies. So these tests can be done during the first 5 days of the symptom onset. The NS1 antigen will be detected earlier itself however for the detection of the antibodies at least 3 days time is required for the body's immune system to act against the virus. And this is the reason we suggest patients to test preferably third day onwards for the dengue infection. Treatment for dengue infection is mostly symptomatic. We advise patients to take plenty of liquids, keep yourself hydrated. And symptomatic management for fever in the form of paracetamol. Please avoid taking painkillers, aspirin as it increases the risk for bleeding. Other than this, a patient who is infected with dengue must take measures to prevent reinfection. Okay? So, in the form of mosquito repellents, wear long sleeve clothes because once a patient is infected with a dengue virus, he can have a chance for getting reinfected by another mosquito wearing another virus. So, two infections simultaneously would increase the risk for developing the complicated forms of dengue, which is the dengue hemorrhagic fever and the dengue shock syndrome. In addition to these symptomatic management, few studies have shown that the papaya leaf extract also has got beneficial effects on 
preventing the platelet drop or improving the platelet count in dengue infections however uh, exact studies are lacking however i feel that there is no harm in taking these measures as it may help provide benefit for the dengue patients so most important is to prevent the dengue infections how can we prevent being infected by the dengue virus so like i already mentioned earlier we can prevent by avoiding the collection of fresh water in and around the house for example in the flower pots okay as they serve as a breeding centers for these mosquitoes second use mosquito repellents okay wear long sleeved clothes to prevent being bitten by the mosquitoes i hope this helps everyone thank you